I Cancer, I am doing your solstice reading. We're going to find out what kind of energy is around you. This solstice, what you are maybe having the momentum to release or what you're needing to release. And then what kind of long-term seeds are we planting? Or what kind of energy do you need to put into long-term goals or manifesting so let's see what's going on here cancer this is for cancer sun moon rising we're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because i don't want to talk to anyone else cancer what's going on so first we're looking at the energy around you this solstice season Wow. All right. Cancer, I really kind of love this. There's a whole bunch here. The first thing that I'm seeing is the justice card. So this justice is in the placement of the big picture. So there are a lot of things that are coming together right now. You are, your karmic justice is in order. This is also karmic justice in your favor. Things balancing out. This is Libra energy. So even with interpersonal relationships, there's a lot of balancing out and writing things. Let's take a look at what else this justice and this karmic justice has to do with your solstice. The center the heart of the situation is talking about releasing any worries or burdens when it comes to money, job. Uh, for some reason, I'm hearing correspondence. So that's not what this card is to me, but I'm hearing that. So any releasing any kind of, oh, I'm also hearing judgment on correspondence, but this is releasing oh, feelings of heaviness around money. So I'm loving that. Coming from this place of maybe feeling a little bit insecure or ungrounded when it comes to things that make you feel solid, safe, and secure, maybe not knowing what the next steps are in your business or with money or with things that are making you feel solid and safe, but then moving away and on from that, moving up to releasing all of that burden and having what it is that you need in any given moment going forward, solstice time after solstice. So let's look at past, present, future here for a second. In the past, here's the world card. This is also the past. So there have been some kind of hardships or hard knocks or something like that. And then here you are graduating, going through the portal, going through the threshold. Something's come full circle and you're releasing stress around it and you're moving on. So I'm liking that feeling. In your present time energy, you're talking about past betrayals, past kind of like mind games, manipulation, but in the past, and this is having perseverance around that, really moving forward with perseverance. It's kind of like building strength, but building the strength of a wall in boundaries. So it's not necessarily shutting people out. It's more so I have... Oh, I'm hearing somebody say that you have tolerance. You're having tolerance. And this is about things in your outcome happening quickly, happening fast. And I even want to, I'm, I'm hearing gaining strength again. So I feel like that's also about gaining momentum. There's a lot of, there are a lot of goals here that I feel like all of a sudden are kind of taking place and taking foundation, rooting. Okay, so we'll get back to some of that and do some clarifying happening now and into the near future we have a king of cups who is reversed now sometimes this is like the fisher king any king that i see that's reversed i usually feel like that's an adult person coming from their child self their sense of immaturity in some way their child self that needs, yeah, I'm hearing somebody saying abandoning. So somebody's been abandoned, emotionally abandoned, 
with that King of Cups reverse. If this is you, Cancer, this is like being really disappointed. So happening now, it's like already happened or maybe into the near future. If something doesn't work out and you're disappointed, I'm not really worried about this too much because it seems like things are coming into fruition. Things are really coming full circle. Here's a 10. So this is like after some hardship, you finally kind of had it up to here and something shifted and changed. And all of a sudden you do have that foundation and that grounding. This is also about releasing a whole bunch of burdens and responsibilities that you've been carrying for somebody else, maybe financial responsibilities you've been carrying for someone else, but this is overshadowing those burdens. You're releasing those and you're coming into your structure, your safety and your security. This is also something that you're releasing. And so usually the 10 of pentacles is like, oh, this is everything. This is all that you've ever wanted. But this is also talking about dynamics. And even if these dynamics were solid, there's some kind of dynamics or group that you are letting go of or releasing. And, you know, for some people, this could have to do with some heartbreak, but I kind of feel like there's just some moving on. Like someone has grown up, like cancer. I feel like this is your energy. You've grown out of a situation or you've grown out of an establishment I'm hearing or grown out of some kind of group dynamic and you're just kind of moving on even your resistance or your blocks of resistance is talking about I have blocks and resistance to not moving not going anywhere being on hold halting so the momentum of this is taking departure you're going so your higher self is talking about being on the other side of any kind of disappointment. So I kind of feel like this has already happened. So anything that's happened with a Fisher King, or when I say that, I'm meaning a masculine energy, masculine energy that has been wounded. And it, yeah, somebody is talking about a death of some kind. So this can be an ego death. I'm not feeling like an actual death but this is being on the other side of it. I feel like this could be the death of some kind of relationship too, maybe having to do with these dynamics over here. This could be a love type of relationship, but it can also be family oriented is what it more so looks like to me, but this is being on the other side of it. So cancer, that's what it looks like. You've kind of grown from feeling unstable about something into a lot of stability, into a lot of perseverance and even... Yeah, I'm hearing emotional trajectory. You're going so fast forward. You're really making moves. And we'll, I want to ask about that in a minute. Your angels and guides are talking about being very discerning. And also this is halting, but it's halting in making decisions, fast decisions. So you're getting a lot of information. You're moving really fast up here and your angels and guides are like, just hold your horses. Just wait until you have all of the information that you need in order to make a decision because you're going to have energy and momentum behind you that's really moving forward quickly. Your advice is to look for and surround yourself with a tribe that makes you feel completely emotionally fulfilled. So even though this might have been solid and safe and secure, there's some kind of ending to some group situation or some dynamic. And your advice is to look for not the dynamic that is necessarily so safe, but the dynamic that is so joyful and loving where you feel, mm, I'm hearing loved and admired for who you are. Not for who you're maybe supposed to be or who you're uh, following the rules for. So I want to take a look here at this fast energy in your trajectory. Your solstice energy, what is going on? Wow. And this is victory. This is getting very, very clear. This is you having all the information and making some moves once you get victory and clarity. So I am loving that. You can look forward to that. I want to take a look at this King of Cups reverse, this Fisher King, or this energy of coming from an inner child that's not feeling emotionally safe. And here we have someone who's trying to work on something. This is my therapy card. So this is, it can be therapy, but this actually feels like someone, I'm just going to say it. This feels like someone who's maybe coming out of the woodwork and wanting to 
it's like wanting to get back together. There's some kind of reunion or something, but it's like they're wanting to help their ego by pulling um, resources from you of some kind. This is somebody who has been unkind in the past, I feel like, to you. And I think you're putting an end to this. You're not dealing with this. This is happening now and into the near future. I want to take, I feel like this has already happened. However, for whoever is connecting with us, I want to take a look at this. You're on the other side of this. That's probably why you're making this decision. It's like you're on the other side of it, but it's still in your energy. And even your angels and guides are like, just hold up. Let's see more of that. There is a lot of healing here. This is Sagittarius energy. This is also alchemizing energy, alchemizing this experience into something that is fulfilling. That is, I want to say, this is really weird, but I keep hearing this word corpse. And I really don't feel like it's an actual physical death. I feel like it's an ego death of some kind, but I'm hearing that when I'm talking about this and I've heard it twice now. So there you have it. For someone, maybe that means something, but I don't think it's an actual uh, literal thing. But this is taking that specific experience and alchemizing it into something that is truly, truly healing. This is a very healing card. Yeah, truly healing and truly helping you to know that you are on solid ground. You have everything that you need. You have all of your resources and you can trust yourself and you can trust your guides to lead you in the right direction. I feel like they already have. I feel like they already have. And I feel like they've helped you to see. Oh, I, I'm hearing your future, but I was also going to say your karmic justice, helping you to see this justice that happened for you. Yeah, there's justice that happened for you in ending something or not pursuing something that seems to be coming up. Somebody opened some kind of door and then didn't pursue it. And I think that is your karmic justice. I think this is exactly what needed to happen. Let's take a look at this world card. You have graduated Something has also come full circle in the past. So whatever that was, yeah, you laid it to rest. Again, with the corpse thing, like you just laid it to rest. It's just complete. The cycle's complete. I want to take a look at this though, because it looks like you're coming back in and you're dealing with this energy, even though you're moving past it, you're on the other side of it. It's still in your space. I want to ask about that. It's still in your space. Look at this. You're like, get it out. Your higher self is like, just lay it to rest and let it be, let it be there. I want to ask about this present time energy, because this is this energy of being emotionally and mentally manipulated. And you're like persevering and making boundaries. Tell me more about what's going on right now. You're like, my heart is open. My heart is open, even though I'm saying no. You're feeling it even though you're making boundaries. I get that. I get it. Is there anything else you need to know about present time? Oh, you dodged a bullet, Cancer. You released some dark energy here, whatever this was. So this is you really moving on faster than you think. And this is really a positive, victorious, clear decision. You're talking about the wheel of fortune reversed. Tell me about that. This is like divine timing. Talking about forward, you're wanting things to go really fast because you have this clear idea of what you want to happen. You want to manifest things really quickly. And then this, this is like, I feel a big separation here from the past. So now that you've made this decision and it's time to move on and you've got you've got all this forward thinking, it's not about this past situation. It's about other ideas and other goals going forward. So I feel like there's some kind of tension, some kind of frustration because you want all your ideas are going really fast, but you're wanting um, 
the groundedness, you're wanting it to roll out really quickly. This is about switching channels. I feel like your mind has switched channels really quickly. And now you're like, okay, I want things to fall into place just as quickly as my mind switched. But ultimately, you have a lot of time so that you don't have to be really anxious about this. You can release any kind of anxiety around things falling into place. You don't have to hurry this. Yeah. And the more you hurry it, the less foundation there's going to be. Even this is like, don't, don't make any really fast decisions until you have all the information. Yeah. You know, I want to say too, when is Mercury retrograde starting? It's starting toward the end, not even toward the end. I think it's at the end of December and it goes through January, mid-January, 18th maybe. And having all these wonderful ideas and brainstorming during that time and making plans is perfect. But acting on those, you can just hold your horses a little bit on acting on those. Yeah, here's the hermit. It's like really dive into inner connection and higher self-connection with all of those really dynamic ideas that are coming through. So with any kind of group here that you're releasing, your advice is to surround yourself with people who truly care about you and your well-being and your emotions. I want to ask for more advice and then we're going to ask for what it is you're releasing and what it is that's important to plant some seeds for the long haul, for the long game. Your advice, yeah, it's to get really clear with what it is that you want. Getting really clear on how you feel about yourself right now and what wants to change. What you want to step into, what kind of bubble of energy you would like to step into and resonate with for yourself. How do you want your own energy to shift and change? What do you want to be vibrating is pretty much what I'm saying there. I want to ask, I think we kind of know some of this energy that you're really releasing. So throwing into the Yule fire, what are you throwing into the Yule fire or what is your higher self asking you to really let go of from this past year, from past cycles? And this is really about any kind of abandonment that's happened or that you have felt. And this can be from childhood. This can be recent that brought childhood stuff up, especially with that King of Cups reversed at the bottom of the stack. So it's like really let go of any kind of abandonment feelings and fill that space up with energy that's all about you being there for you. It's releasing feelings of abandonment and allowing feelings of rejuicing and pulling back all of your resources to yourself, knowing that you can do that releasing feelings of abandonment or releasing dynamics with people who weren't there for you, weren't supportive of you. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm even hearing regaining your consciousness. But with this card, this is like psychic consciousness. This is higher self-consciousness, regaining your consciousness. All right. And I want to ask about what is it, Cancer? that you need to pay attention to energy-wise about planting seeds for the long game, this solstice. Both of these came out. Oh my goodness, and I love it. So here's the moon reversed. This is really releasing a whole lot of anything that was hidden. This is also, talk about psychic energy cancer, which really doesn't surprise me at all because you're all water and you're all psychic. This is all about really uncovering any kind of hidden, I want to say gems, which is kind of funny, but any kind of hidden intuition or intuition that you've had that you haven't been paying attention to. This is about planting seeds for really uncovering that, listening to yourself. Like, okay, from this day forward, I am listening to my body. I am listening to my emotions. I am listening to that little voice. I am listening to my guides. I'm connecting with my higher self and I am paying attention to it. 
and not shutting it down, closing the door, saying, that's ridiculous. Like, there's none of that. You're opening the door. You're opening that connection. And check it out. This is the biggest healing card ever. Mm. I guess aside from the Empress, I feel like, but this is huge. This is your highest and your greatest potential. This is connecting with your star family, your galactic council of light. This is healing. This is energizing. This is knowing that you have all of the energy that you need and you can move it around where you want, where you need it to go, where you want it to go, where you need it to go so that it's healing for you. This is a wish card. This is your wishes coming true. So the things planting the seeds for the long game, make some wishes this solstice. It's December 21st. Make some wishes. Longest night, shortest day. And from there on out, the days are getting brighter and lighter. And that night, make wishes in the darkest night. The stars are the brightest. I love it, Cancer. Thank you for being here with me. Happy solstice. And I will see you again in your next reading.